The Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center sponsors the annual robotic submarine competition July 25th to 28th at the Transdeck Pool, Point Loma. We've got 30 teams from all over the world that are competing in this annual event trying to find out if the autonomous underwater vehicles that they've built can master a very challenging course. For the competitors, this is the culmination of several years' worth of work within their teams. The submarines are required to go through an obstacle course ranging from uh, hoops to uh, firing torpedoes, dropping um, markers onto bins, and even interacting with a steering wheel, finally ending with an uh, a ultrasonic uh, pinger underwater. Uh, they have a lot of uses within the Navy, uh, but they're also starting to find applications and utilities for the oil and gas industry, for telecommunications and, and monitoring things in the ocean, and just general uh, oceanographic data collection. The competition also includes middle school students for the Sea Perch Fun Challenge. It's great to show kids or give kids the opportunity to demonstrate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics uh, in action here. I'm glad that I get to have this experience and they ex uh, get the knowledge from this whole organization and the teamwork and this, the whole idea in general. Just that one of the benefits of, the, of Spay War hosting this competition is that over the years they've been able to recruit some of these students from right here on site and bring them into jobs at Spay War and other Navy commands and so tap into this very, very bright resource of some of the brightest minds that are out there. Reporting from Navy Public Affairs Support Element West, I'm Petty Officer Claire Farron.